Travis, can you describe for us what a river lorian does? A river lorian is a person who handles many different things here aboard the boat. Their main job is to open the eyes of the guests to the beauty that is the rivers and the history of our American rivers. We do that through books we have to lend. We have programs where we give talks to passengers about the different facets of the history of the river. We can let them borrow binoculars, bikes to go in town. It's an all-encompassing position that brings the history of life or alive to the passenger. I have a series of talks called River Chat that I do. The River Chat is an informal talk about different facets of the history of the river, and it's really more attuned to the areas we're in, the types of boats that would have been out here on the river, and the history of our river. In addition, we have night watch programs where we explain navigation at nighttime. We do tours of the Steamboat Pilot House to let passengers see how this boat is really handled out here on the river and how we navigate this vessel on the waterways. Do you have any sense about how Mark Twain felt about the river? And are people able to recreate that sense of feeling today? Mark Twain saw the beauty of the river. He saw the majesty of the river. He saw it both when it was in rage and flood and calm and drought. And the way he wrote about the river, it brought the river alive to so many people. It's said that one of the most common requested words um, by foreigners is Mississippi and what it's all about because of the great Mark Twain. He really brought this whole river and its stories alive to people. He caused people to want to understand what this river about, is about and travel the waterway. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me and I hope that I've brought the river alive in your eyes through the programs I have here aboard the American Queen.